All right, everybody on YouTube and here in Twitch chat, we got Bant Legends. We're playing this deck again. This deck can do some ridiculous things, especially with Kamal's Druidic Vow, where we can put a whole lot of permanents onto the battlefield. That's our goal. Uh, new card that I'm trying out this time with the deck is actually Grow from the Ashes as something else to do kind of early and uh, be able to ramp us. Um, take lands out of the deck and everything. I'm replacing Druid of the Cowl with Grow from the Ashes. Uh, Druid of the Cowl does get to block a little better for us, but it gets exiled with the Ruinous Blasts. So let's try some Grow from the Ashes there. Um, and also to kind of fit those in and a second Amara for another cheap legend, I've had to cut some of the some of the f uh, big things like we trimmed a, a Temporal Sundering, a Tatiova, and a Vivian, but we've also added in a Tristani. So, kind of moving things around a little bit. But uh, here we go. Let's have some fun. Oath of Teferi, unfortunately, just costs too much for what it does. Oh, yeah, this deck's a whole lot of fun. Oh, let's, let's get the deck list up on Stream Decker first. Export. Definitely want to do that before we get going. So y'all can see the deck list. Uh, let's go to decks, paste deck list. Bant, legends. That's kinda what our deck is. Whole lot of fives. Whole lot of fours. Feldman with the resub. Oh no, DJ Polly B's gifted the sub to Feldman. Thank you so much, DJ Polly B. And so that is sub number 30. So our next goal goes up to 35. That means we got another, add another one to the RNA pack. We are getting 10 packs now. And we're down to 25 subs to until we unlock another emo. A uh, sub record for a day was somewhere over a hundred. Like around 120-ish or so. All right, whoever guesses the next rare, right? Do you mean like whenever we're opening packs? Oh, hey, Robbie. Okay, well, yeah, so I won't be opening up packs until RNA hits. Karn. Oh, I, I don't know what the first deck I'll be playing, Mike. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be playing limited to start with. Only hurting yourself. You know that? So, I'm, I mean, it's going to matter what cards I open up for, like, what deck I can play. Ah, it's Grixis. Yeah, I thought there were Drakes also. Turns out it's Grixis control. All right, so Teferi gets to resolve. I don't this really want to tuck their Eldest way. Reborn. Keep up the pace. I'm just gonna draw another card. Eldest Reborn is obviously incredibly good against a deck filled with four and five mana planeswalkers and expensive creatures like I have. So obviously Eldritch Reborn is just great against me. That's a good one. 
We can start making some thopters this and be protected against future fate, Eldest Reborns. As are you. So they can get Dawnbringer or Karn. Dawnbringer. Okay, so it didn't matter which one we chose. Hey, it's a fairy. Look at that, we can tuck this Dawnbringer. I won't hide from the warp. You need to slow down. Drawing a card I unless it's a land tricks on doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Because of disinformation campaign. Or Nickel Bolas. It is the ideal so they could definitely have a sweeper that takes off, takes away all these uh, um, thopters. No, cast down. And of course, we get to activate as can't at end step. So if, Nick, if they flip Nicol Bolas, they got Shalai or Karn, which neither one is too concerning. So yeah, I love where we're at in this game. I'm going to be looking for another Druidic Vow with this Ascanta activation. Tezzeret has been really good for us here, just this game. Okay, they are flipping. They are flipping crazy. I think I'd tick up if I'm them and just draw two cards. Or either that or minus and kill Dawnbringer. I don't think that the minus and put something into play is a, a very good line. Uh, there's just not good enough things to put into play. So yeah, killing Dawnbringer is fine. Kneel before me. Yeah, cast down versus the Legends deck. We have exactly Llanowar Elf and Thopter token that it gets rid of. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, let's let's just skip to that good part. Cold logic will always win. Hmm. Tristani being great. Great addition. This you cannot stop me. Yeah, I think we got this game. Our opponent's going to need Star of Extinction. It's possible they have Star of Extinction. That's what they're going to need, though. I Where's Druidic Vow? 
One, two, three, four. Hmm. No time for a break. All right, so we can grow. Wait, so these come into play untapped, right? Yeah, they come into play untapped. So we could go grow kicked. And then Shalai or Dawnbringer. Hmm. Guess I play Shalai. To be able to protect Dawnbringer in the future. So Amara dies, they take four. And we get another 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I'm streaming. Yeah, I'm streaming limited this time around. Twelve-hour stream on Thursday from eleven to eleven, going with sealed. All right, deck is great. Let's get all these Nagates, more Nezahal, another Tristani. Take out Dawnbringer. Take out Blast. The Blast is really good against Doom Whisperer, but whatever. Um, that's sixty-three. Do I really need these Nezahals in? Nezahal kind of seems impossible to cast. And Nezahal seems a little bit a little bit impossible. I'm gonna take out Temporal Sundering. Now nah, we got Grow from the Ashes. We're good. I'll take out the Amaras. Yet, or I don't need. I wouldn't play Nova for that. I'd rather play Ruinous Blast because Ruinous Blast takes out Eldest Campaign and Doom Whisper. But it's just kind of hard to set those up. All right, so no blue mana yet, but. We are looking like we're going to have a Karn on turn four. There's a blue source. I'd have to think that overall this is... A tough matchup for us with them having like discard and counter magic. Wow, that resolved. I am hard. Yeah, I'm surprised. Okay. So I went ahead and made a token Some solution to protect from Eldest Reborn. Uh, but then they had a contempt, so that's fine. Maybe Teferi just resolves also? Dang, no that one did resolve. Hmm. I think I wait till I have find another blue source here and be able to play like Teferi plus Negate or something. Refro man, why are you keeping in cast down in your deck? Why is that still in your deck? Hmm. Hey. 
That was uncalled for. Ugh. No blue mana. It's the trouble with playing three color decks. No flipping. Why didn't our opponent flip there? They could have just flipped Nickel Bowls and got to Fairy, and I was like super dead. And they didn't do it. Oh, now they're doing it. They could have done that last time. Witness omnipotence. Isn't that the music? We need to move. I can no longer stand by and watch. Hmm. Okay, well, shall we begin? You're still one step behind. We have to get really, really lucky here. We have to have Tezzeret stay alive. And I cast Kamal's Juridic Vow and it resolves. It's just really unlikely that those things happen. You know what? I'm yeah. not done yet. Did not happen. We had to get really lucky. My knowledge is endless. So, uh, we get like Karn, something like that. All right, let's go to game three. Try again. Let's get these Amaras back in here, actually. Yeah, like they're just gonna be filled with counter spells and stuff like that. And Amara, like Amara on the play, can just win some games. I guess we take out one Druidic Vow, and I'm gonna cut a seven drop, cut a Nezahal. It can't be countered, which that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll just cut both of those. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of both of them. Thanks, Zero. Thank you so much. Nets Hall is really for, like, the other control decks. It's not nearly as good against these blue-black that have, like, a lot of discard spells. And they they reduce your resources that you have uh, with, like, disinformation campaign. Um, and then they also have, like, the reanimate effects with Eldest Reborn and Nicol Bolas. Like, my opponent getting a Neza Hall, like, that they made me discard is or I guess can be quite annoying this is like the same hand we had last time it's like basically the exact same hand we had last time come on blue mana am I just like not playing enough blue sources or something in the deck See, we have 11, 11 blue sources plus the four grow from the ashes. So like basically 15, it's not a ton. Teferi gone. Good news is we found blue mana now. So we can kick this. I have been impressed with Grow from the Ashes. I've been impressed with that card. 
gets more lands out of our deck. Um, I'm getting all these blue sources because if we draw, we want to find negate because so, we want to have Teferi plus negate. So we're going to want to have lots of blue for that. All right, that Hinchlin Harbor is just staying in my hand here. So when they play Campaign or Nicol Bolas and I have to discard a card, I'm discarding that Hinchlin Harbor. Correct, I have no Teferis this game. Correct. That's perfectly fine. We have a lot of other Planeswalkers that can win. Um, so graveyard. A master builds with ease. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have just played Tristani. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have just played Tristani. I get to flip the Ascanta immediately, which is really nice with this Doom Whisperer. Yeah, the Unward Ego was honestly good for us because we couldn't play our spells before and like just cycling those Teferis into like spells that we got to start playing and got to get our mana base going and everything. Plus, it took it took a card out of our opponent's hand, you know, because they had to play the Unward Ego. That was honestly a real good card for us. I'm ready to go. Certainly helping us win this game. Um, doubtful we'll still be able to, but it's helping us. Again. Yeah, I certainly thought they had a counter spell. And I'd rather I think I'd rather have Tezzerek countered right now than Tristani. Yeah, boot, we're almost there. We got today's stream, we got tomorrow's stream, we're gonna be playing four other decks, and then I'm taking the sixteenth off and then long uh, sealed stream on the seventeenth. There's those Amaras I needed. Alright, opponent got us. Yeah, it's a real tough matchup for us. A bunch of discard and counter magic against our really expensive sorcerer speed deck. But I I was impressed with Girl from the Ashes though quite a bit. So that's that's definitely impressive. Oh yeah, and of course they also have lots of planeswalker removal with all their contempts and stuff, so. Yep, that's a tough one for us. But so far, growth growth from the ashes, good. All 
All right, so Glacial Fortress is definitely, you know, is coming into play tab, so lean with that. Woodland Stream. Mirror match. Maybe this is Hadana Stompy. Hey, Roby. Yeah, good good match there. Yeah, that's a real tough matchup for us. You have Discard and Counter Magic, and I'm just playing a bunch of four mana cards. It's That's really tough for me. And you have Removal for Planeswalkers. That was real tough. Uh, I don't I don't know what your statements for Tez were. Hey, all the secret streams. All right, so we're looking for we're looking for Urza's Ruinous Blast. Yeah, I don't I don't know what your statements for Tez were. Tatiova, that card's awesome. I like our opponent's deck. I think we can probably. I think we'll probably surprise block a Herald of Secret Streams here. Mainly used. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, well, the the card draw chump blockers. That's just like what the card does. Like that's that's the text of the card. But mainly used for cycling. I'm not sure what that means. All right, we did get to surprise block a Herald of Secret Streams. But yeah, that, that's what we have it for. And Grow from the Ashes with Tatiova. Man, our opponent's deck is cool. Hmm. I guess I play Shalai next turn. This Tatiova is so good. Yep. Yeah, we with Raph in play, we have Dive Down, Shalai. Yeah. What is this thing? I don't even know what this thing does. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a creature with power 4, greater, draw a card. Sweet. Um. Yeah, I've certainly played Planeswalkers end of turn before, even though you don't get to... Um, you don't get to... Uh, you don't get to activate them, but just so like my opponent wouldn't attack it, and so like I've done that with, with Teferi, played end of turn to like to be able to, untap with it and be able to protect it. Oh yeah, my opponent's going off here. Sword to double sword tooth Tatiova, and then Colossal Majesty also. My opponent's deck is sweet. Right on, Let's be getting a upkeep. Hold that thought. Teferi on tapping, of course, is great with Raph. Get that extra mana. If we drew a land here, we would have been able to play a land and been able to flash in Karn, but didn't get there. But we did did draw an Amara, so we get to flash in an Amara. Lebrontodon. I can take out my Ascanta.
Ooh. All right, so I think I'll have Amara block the Tatiova. I, I like that trade for me. And then we'll just do some chumpies. I mean, we're just gonna have, we're just gonna have lethal here. With tucking their, ooh, oh baby, never mind. I mean, I, I should just, yeah, I could tuck their flyer and it's GG, but I should just cast this, right? I mean, it's game one, yeah, whatever, let's cast it. Do you have any permanents that are, are not legendary? Do you have any? Maybe that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, you can, yes, you can cast Ruinous at instant speed with Raph Compassion. All right, so let's get another blast. Let's get, maybe just another blast. Hmm, what do we want to take out? Can we take out one Karn? Nah, Karn's good. Should probably take out one of these 10 cards that cost five mana. But they're all pretty good. I could I could probably get rid of a Dawnbringer. I guess I have 14 cards that cost five mana because the Teferi's also, or 13. The Teferi's are in there too. Yeah, deckless for the deck. Yeah, it is it is certainly really fun. You can find it here. Oh, we're down to 24 new subs. Or 24, yeah, so 24 more subs, we get a new emote. We are getting there. All right, you want to draw Land War Elf or Grow from the Ashes? Yeah, absolutely. Or not. <sighs> I'm so jealous of the opponent right now. I'd love to have a Grow from the Ashes. Yeah, Orzhov Knights just kind of got beat up by a couple of Golgari decks. So many, so many finalities. Killed so many Knights. It was brutal. So jealous. Are we going to draw a non-land card? Maybe not been four lands so far. Four for four. <laughs> it's kind of like a mirror. Blink of an eye. Sure. No land drop? No land drop for the opponent. Alright, five for five. With lands for us. Yeah. A bigger Druidic Vow. Landlord emote. Yeah, I got like a got a flood emote. That's what's happened here. We're, we're flooding hard. Curious Obsession? The heck is that? Hopefully we survive. If they have another bounce spell, we're dead. Please don't have another bounce spell. Because if we survive next turn, we get to Druidic Vow for five. Ugh. 
many bounce spells. They got us good. All right. Let's try to have a little bit of a faster start here. Let's try to see if we can get one of our land war elves or grow from the ashes. That's a land war elf, I suppose. Now, the thing is, is I'm not playing my land war elf on turn one. Because I'd rather have search for his canta. Like, I want search for his canta on turn two to have search help us hit land drops. And I'm still playing the land werewolf here, even though um, Ruinous Blast would exile it. If we if we get to Ruinous Blast, I'm 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 pretty happy there. <laughs> pretty sure I don't need to worry about land drops. Awesome, Dirk. Celestia mid range, cool. Graveyard. Yeah, that's yeah. Glad to hear that, Dirk. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. All right, let's have a Vivian in play. Yeah, okay. Hey, buddy. Because at least Vivian gets us another resource whenever they bounce it. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Our opponent's missing land drops again. Uh, looks really good for us. I think we got this one. Perfect. All right, if we get to cast Druidic Vow, we can Druidic Vow for five, which is the perfect number to Druidic Vow for. I can, of course, also just Ruinous Blast, but that gets rid of my elves. I want a Druidic Vow for five. Which I guess we can make it six by getting a land here. Um, no one knows the wilds like I do. Wow, oh, I would have hit to fairy Tezzeret. I wanted to tick up and hit a land drop first. Hmm. <laughs> There's all lands. There's all the lands. Found the lands. Yeah, no way to predict that, but... But, honestly, just getting all those lands in play is really not bad. Like, that's still... That's a, a five-mana spell, you know put four lands into play. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Now we'll just we'll just blast away their board now. I mean we we have this game very easily won. I'm not losing everything again.
All right. They are losing everything again. Come to me. Uh, I don't really know what our opponent's doing. They're kind of doing... Doing their own thing. I like it. Tatiova, that card's great. Druidic Vow. Yuck. Right, there's gotta be another Druidic Vow in here somewhere. Alright, I guess we'd take that thing. No one knows the wilds like I do. Um, can't really cast that one. We already got another Amara in play. There's no Druid Vows in this in this deck. Where are they at? You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah. We are not done yet. You can't stop nature. Ooh, next turn we got Tatiova plus Grow from the Ashes combo. That's a good combo. Pumpshalai was not lethal. Cause they're still at six. I only had four attackers. Even if we if we play Tristani and Pump Shalai, that's that was not lethal. Because I mean just look I mean Pump Shalai would have been four extra damage and they're at six, so it couldn't have been lethal. It would have been four extra damage. Alright, one on one. Keep the lead going. More time for getting a big Druidic Vow. Alright, play first. Yeah, we got Grow from the Ashes here. We can keep this. So we have. We're still looking at like turn four. Um, turn four Karn. You know, like we're not playing Karn any earlier. Just because the the extra mana. Or are we? Dun dun dun. I guess we have turn three, Karn. We'll see what the op does. Uh, every every five subs, I'm adding another pack. So so far we've gotten to ten. We've gotten to ten sub goals. So far in the last few days. So we got double blue for Tezzeret, double white for Dawnbringer. Those are the only double blue and double white cards. So we have two Tezzeret, two Dawnbringer. I think we have just more white sources in general, so I'm going to get this other island. No, no growing rights. I don't, I'm not actually playing very many creatures in the deck. Yeah, Gift of Paradise just doesn't work well with Urza's Ruinous Blast, but yeah, it would be a good card also. Ah, uh, and then Sundering in Hand is also blue-blue. That's a good point. Yeah, that's... That's a good point. We have that one of also. All 
Alright, I got plenty of mana. Hey, Duriel. Guys, the Revel and Riches deck I built today is spicy. I'm getting like 20 20 Karn tokens, has as many as 30 treasures at one point. Ooh. That does sound pretty great. Treasures are cool, right, Hawkeye? Yeah, Hawkeye says treasures are cool. All right, hopefully the opponent just does something similar to like the blade wing or whatever. I want to end step this Wrath Compassion and then Temporal Sundering. All right, so Blast, just discarding Blast because their creatures are legendary. Man, I can't play Search and Temporal Sundering. That's a ripoff. I know I could. I know I can have like those have flash with wrath, um, but I don't want them getting countered and they're, my opponent's tapped out. So I'm just just playing them right now. I know, right? This is the second. This is the second time I've played against Dragon Deck with Urza's Runa's Blast. That would certainly be the reason to. Uh, Wait to flash it in, though. We're at five cards in library. Six. They got the, the Sarkin into they Nicol Bolas combo. Oh no, no, they're <laughs> filtering. Perfect. No, when we have, like we have uh, Kamal's Druidic Vow, having as much mana as possible for that, that top deck is certainly worth it. And also I want as much mana as possible for as Kanta here as well. Man, or is Ruinous Blast is not doing anything. So I do have to uh, chump lock the blade wing now. We got tons and tons of lands, but this time we just didn't find our five drops. Didn't find our planeswalkers too much coming. there. They discarded our Karn. And of course, the bad part with chump blocking with wrath is we don't have the legendary permanent in play anymore. If we even if we draw druidic vow now, all 
All right, let's get rid of these blasts. So don't think it worked out for us how I, I held on to um, or how I played the Shalai's right away. I think that I think that ended up being a big mistake. I think I should have uh, flashed in Shalai because honestly, they're the dinosaur deck. I don't even think they play counter spells. Not very many they do. Hmm. So we're replacing Blast with Cleansing Nova. Maybe just do that. Do I really want Amara? Hmm. Shalai is not good against the Angels, and it's not good against Lava Coil. Yeah, response resurgence is too difficult to cast. You know, being double white. I want that, like, that card's there for mono red or, like, mono white, like those aggro decks. Um, and it's too hard to have mono, or it's too hard to have white white there. And resurgence doesn't do anything for our deck anyway, also. No, I think it's, it's just a throwback. I don't think Urza is actually back. Think. I think it's just like a throwback of like Karn is like the Scion of Urza. I don't know. Not sure. We're getting blue mana with this. Which is probably pretty obvious. With us having three green sources and four white sources already. All right, Karn, start doing your thing. Hmm. Karn, dude's been through a lot. Well, he's got, he's got his books. He's got his books still. will aid us. I think I just went to ferry on the battlefield as well. Trust me, I'm not ready for this quite yet. Well we have the chance here. That is Karn standing beside a grill, isn't it? I didn't notice that before, but yeah, that's that's definitely what's going on there. Karn's just chilling next to the grill. Um, Hurry! All right, so I want to I want to vow for five. I'm doing this stuff first in case like in case we would hit like a new Karn or new Teferi especially new Teferi want to take up first I 
I could just wait on casting Vow, actually, just cleansing Nova here. They're another turn away from Nicol Bolas. Maybe just wait. You know, the, the bigger the Vow, the better. Because we're not, we're not in the biggest hurry. The worst case scenario is they play Niv Mizzet here. Alright, no Niv Mizzet. Nothing is ever truly lost. I don't want to risk it too much. <clears throat> and uh, I'll have Raph Compassion on end step. Flash in another Karn. That's probably not worth it. Tuck Enough. that. Let's take it back. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good Let's do this choice. first. And they're tapped out, so we'll Druidic Vow for eight. All right, we'll get a Forest, a Dawnbringer, a Tezzeret, another Forest, a Tristani, a Hinchelin Harbor, and I guess we get another Dawnbringer. Man. You were foolish. Kamal's Druidic Blast is so sweet. It's so good. Draw card. I know what must be done. It's so good. Oh, this card's so good. We should have Convoke, too. <laughs> oh, dear. They have Star of Extinction? Come on. Don't, don't Star of Extinction me. Why are y'all saying Star Incoming? Y'all are killing me. All right, how big can this Druidic Vow be? Whew, we have another one after this. All right, is there, is there anything for me to minus and get? No. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're seriously, seriously just gonna mill ourselves out if we cast the other one also. Oh, there's definitely things to get with Vow. We got Teferi, we got Vivian Reed, we have a whole lot more lands, we have Shalai. Oh wait, no, we don't even have Shalai. Oh no, never mind, I was thinking we had Shalai. Uh, sure, I'll pay two life. Would you like to see what's left of us? Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. <laughs> Get that out of here. Uh, 
brilliance comes easily to me. All right, I think I think we got a flash in. One, I don't think I activated Karn. Didn't really care to activate Karn. Yeah, I think we need to act. I think we need to flash in this to ferry. We gotta respond to the Niv Mizzet. I'm known for my excellent timing. Which is just silly, of course. Responding to something with a Teferi. <laughs> That's just silly. Alright, we got game two. We got game two. Um, maybe I need Shalai just to be able to activate Shalai's ability. Um, yeah, I'll play a Shalai over a Vow. No, over a Sundering. Yeah, over the Sundering. <laughs> we could do that well again. We could have, it could happen again. But yeah, this deck is pretty hilarious. There's not... Am I missing any Planeswalkers I could be putting in this deck? I guess a Johnny. A Johnny Adversary Tyrants would be another Planeswalker I could put in here just so we could have five. I've never had five Planeswalkers in play. I've had four with this deck and, and a bunch of other decks. I've had four quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Three mana Jace also. Yeah, I probably do not need four Negates. Maybe Nezahal's better than the fourth negate. <laughs> All right, we got lands. Lands are cool. All right, now let's draw. Search for us, Kanta here. Yeah, we played two Tezzeret. Two Tezzeret. Ah, wrong 1U card. I needed Search for Scanta there. Now I'll just have to counter their Dragon's Horde, or Sarkin. Go and play your Sarkin. Let me negate that. Thank you. You want to fight? You want to bite? Says somebody whenever they're offering you a bite of their sandwich. I think I just tuck old I know Mickey B. My response to Bill Time is much more malleable than people think. And we can flash in a Shalai next turn. I did not flash in. Uh, Decline. I will take five damage. I did not flash in. 
Safari there. Keep up the pace. Yeah, I guy's doing yoga back there. <laughs> uh, so I can, I can cast Karn and Shalai, um, but neither block Demanding Dragon very well. If I, I play Tesseret, I don't get to play either of the others, but we can get it just a little chump blocker for this. Demanding Dragon, though. No Niv Mizzet, please. Alright. I didn't get to flash in Shalai to protect that. Hey! It's hot outside today. Gets a gifted sub from DJ Polly B. We are now 23 subs away from the new emo. And 31 on the day. I made you a gift. Start digging. So with Nicol Bolas, I'll just discard the Wrath Compassion. What if I just take the five and go to ten? If they attack me again. Nah, I'll just keep blocking. Don't want like a golden demise. Or a ritual set or something like that randomly just to kill a bunch of blockers and me had already taken a good amount of damage. Flash in a Dawnbringer. A curious choice. That is intriguing. This will keep an eye on you. That is certainly intriguing. Right now they have they could get if they want to transform their Nicol Bolas, they can get Sarkin or Wrath. Hopefully this works out. Oh boy. Worked out. Alright, Karn down. So no... No Teferi or Tristani for us. Of course. Alright, and with us having... I'll just 
just gonna attack. I was gonna say we could just keep Dawnbringer back to block Demanding Dragon, but come on. I mean, we're just killing them. Like, we just we just attacked them for 10. No, I'm not gonna Tezzeret ult. Unfortunately, that one not gonna happen, unfortunately. Yeah, we did have a dive down up. <laughs> we had four mana dive down up. All right, Bant Legends. This deck is Legend Dairy. Two and one. Let's keep this going. This deck's so much fun. Anyway, to answer Hoof, yeah, the. The split cards are, are dual color when they're cast, yes. Uh, yeah, a lot of people told me that, that I remind them of Neil Patrick from that TV show. I haven't ever watched that TV show myself. Deep Sea Panda. Down to six cards. Maybe we'll get a turn two grow from the ashes. Um, which one? How I Met Your Mother. Wild Growth Walker. We can blast next turn. Probably gonna save this blast for just a tad. Uh, maybe just blast next turn. Do we blast or do we wait for them to Jade Light first? Nah, I probably don't wait for them to Jade Light. I'm just gonna blast. Grayson with a tier two sub. Half a year. What do you think about the new set? I'm not super thrilled. Oh, I'm I'm pretty thrilled. I'm definitely excited about it. Thanks, Grayson. Yeah. So it looks like our opponent's playing. Um, The Explore an Angels deck, which is a popular, it's been popularized for best of one um, magic, but it's looking good here too. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. This is nothing. All right, so. We'll have Wrath kill Vivian. Oh, that's a good one. Take an extra turn. Bounce July. Squirrels hit harder. Dang. Really wanted Kamal's Juridic Vow. Really need Kamal's Juridic Vow. We get to Vow for seven. Oh man. If we draw Kamal's Juridic Vow, it's on. It will be on. Come on. Juridic Vow. Oh baby. It is on. Like Donkey Kong. Let's go. Seven. Oh man, so much hype. Whew! Oh, baby. Yeah, I'll take this one. I'll take Teferi, Tezzeret, Vivian, Sun Pellow Grove. Alright, we got we had two bricks with another Teferi and a Raph. 
But that's okay. Alright, so we'll have Vivian. Kill Dawnbringer. Feel the wrath of Scala. We'll have Teferi draw. No time for a break. I'll have Tezzeret make a 1-1. One, one. A master builds with ease. Okay, this deck is sweet. I was considering drawing with the Tezzeret also, because we were gonna have five mana untapped with Wrath, but yeah. All right, we need another Urza's Ruinous Blast. Now, need is a strong word, you know, but that'd be nice to get one. All right, that's a good one. That's a good card. Good card. Good card. Uh, let's take up Vivian first. The wilds are my shield. Tatiova. We'll tick up to Fairy. We need to move quickly. Amara. Hmm. Draw a card here. Let's see how you respond. Another to Amara. Genius. Oh, oh. Dang it, I didn't get the I guess I didn't get the value from the untapped lands. Forgot about that. I mean we're playing play enough spells anyway. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. No one I didn't get the value from the untap, but oh well. Taking seven, going to four. It's kind of weird they just want to attack me like that. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hold that thought. Whew. Um. Just make a thopter. It is the ideal subordinate. Alright, I do have to worry about decking myself. Is Tatiova a may draw or is Tatiova just a draw? We're at 30 cards. No, it's just a draw. So how big How big do we want to make this? Let's go with Let's go ahead and go with this and I don't have very many other things to actually Druidic Vow into. Oh, I don't mind just doing it just for five here. All right, so we got a Karn. That was honestly just a pretty good Druidic Vow for us. Let us begin. Draw some more cards. Make another creature. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Ah, uh, that was pretty good. Hey, Cubo, LOL. Yeah, we're having a great day. This is certainly a whole lot of fun to play this deck. All right, so Cleansing Nova, going to be good here. Um, Blast is good against, like, half of their deck. It's good against all the Explore stuff, but not good against the Angels. 
that they got going on. So I think two blasts is, is still very reasonable. Um, what don't I want? I think I can cut Amara, honestly. They don't really remove, they don't have like a ton of removal for the other stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't think we really need Amara. Amara's not going to just get into combat too much. So we'll take out the two Amaras for two Cleansing Nova. Call it a day. <laughs> you need to make this deck? Oh man, this deck's so much fun. I've, I've been really liking the Growth from the Ashes. I think that's been a good addition to the deck. Uh, no, Tobias, I do not. All right. This is a keep. No white mana, but Karn can hopefully help us out there. Hey, Sonic View Bob with the resub for the second month in a row. Let's get some more hype votes for Sonic View Bob. Oh, Grow from the Ashes is a perfect draw here. All right, so we are at 33 on the day and 22 more for a new emo. We just need 22 of the 680 people in here to sub here real quick. And then we get a new emote. Do I want to get a second blue mana? I'll just get the white. We got Cleansing Nova now also. Yeah, let's get the white. Um, it's definitely possible I should just be playing Karn since Teferi is going to get hit. Not. Keep up the pace. Ah, Vivian's good. Because if they play Shalai. Shalai would be annoying because I can't blast away Shalai. If they just play that Jade Light Ranger, that's perfectly fine. I get to blast away the Resplendent Angel and the Jade Light, and, you know, our life's good. Time for Plan B. So I hope they play that Jade Light. Ixalan's Binding. So do, do I just go Vivian, Destroy, Binding? And then I guess I need to... I should have played the Temple Garden here. I could just wait and just play Karn and just blast away the binding. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I I kinda need Vivian to to kill like Dawnbringer. I will defend my allies. And Shalai and stuff like that. Ugh, yeah, I shouldn't have played my land. Oh, you're welcome, Mass. Thanks for being here. Yeah, see, I need, like, Vivian to kill, like, these angels. It's kind of interesting. They just didn't even attack Karn at all. That choice. All right, and I think I'll just go ahead and have Teferi tuck this Shalai. Yeah. Not so fast. Every meet my newest friend. Yeah, the, oh yeah, they did it just attack you know to fairy first, didn't I'm they? Not there. Done yet. I am 
master of machines. Return. Let's go and go get another Teferi here. Um, and grow from the ashes, get some more mana. So just in case something happens to this this Teferi, we got to back up. And um, in two turns, I can minus this Teferi uh, just fine. All right, now that's that's. That's good. So now we could get to Vivian, Come kill the binding, get get new Teferi, Teferi tuck Vivian. Yeah, that's a really good point that like, you know, we're basically at the end of the standard format and that really did feel too stale. Um, wild wasn't so that's meant. Real good Sometimes for us. restoration means retribution. I don't I don't know. I haven't really had the fifth My planeswalker in. finished. As are you. Reverse. Your patience is rewarded. I don't know how our opponent's gonna deal with all these things. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be a win. Like we have four planeswalkers in play. Like what are they gonna do? Play of July? Sure. We got things that can Balance block that. Comes. We're working towards this. Um, towards this, to move this Tezzeret ultimate. Are you certain of your decision? And our opponent knows about the Cleansing Nova in hand. They can't really just not play their Planeswalker, or not play their Angels, sorry. Oh wow, they're Adventurous Impulsing right now instead of drawing the Vivian? That's kind of surprising. Didn't get the mana off the land war off. Oh well. Yeah, it's just Nova time there. Alright, three and one. Our deck is too legendary. Um They could have Ixalon's binding. Yeah, if they had Ixalan's Binding, that would have been annoying, but of course I, I had Cleansing Nova to destroy it. Yeah, oh, the Teferi's just too cute. Ooh, we get to play first? That's lucky. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We got End Step Wrath on turn four and then Blast on turn five. We gotta draw two lands. But our opponent, oh yeah, our opponent won't be expecting it. So, if we draw two lands, okay, land of Werewolf is good. It's basically a land. We gotta get one more. We gotta draw a land here. These next two draw steps. But then Wrath into Blast should basically end it. That like gets rid of this matchup. I just built Azorius Control in Modern. Did I make a bad choice? Um, I don't think so. Azorius Control is good. Ugh. Do I want to just cast Shalai? Not really. Where's this land at? So they do get an extra... I mean, flipping Legion's Landing is... That's a real thing.
Rude. Hmm. Do I only need one land? Draw land, we get Dawnbringer. Hey, DC Panda, yeah. <laughs> I had a real good hand against you there. Um, but but yeah, it seemed like a kind of a tough matchup for you. Yeah, we this deck is pretty nasty. Man, this Ru Urza's Ruinous Blast card, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. What do we get? We get rid of Exile that, 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 and... Uh, okay, not the Legion's Landing. Sure, whatever. We'll get rid of that Conclave Tribunal and all their things on the battlefield. Sure, it takes out our Llanowar Elf. I think that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, man. yeah, that was a good. That was a good match. I like, I like your green white deck. Um, what do you? Until you have. You know, so you got the Explorer and Angels in the main deck. What do you got? Like, what do you really do in sideboard there? With your green white deck there. Ooh, settle. Yeah, settles probably a good option. Like settles are real good against the Golgari decks these days. Yeah, I like I like that. Nice. Yep, nine of autos. Yeah, that's a sweet deck. Heroic reinforcements. Well, down goes Karn. All right, so we have we have a tough choice here. We can either play Dawnbringer main phase and gain four life with Shalai attacking, or I can flash in Dawnbringer and block with it. I'm just gonna play main phase. Yeah, I could have ambush Viper Dawnbringer. All right, going to game two. Let's get our other Blast in here. Get another Tristani. Uh, another Dawnbringer, Shalai. And these Gideon's Reproaches. All right, coming out. Temporal Sundering, Vivian. Um, Tatiova does gain life, but it's going to come on out. One vow or two vows? Maybe just one vow. A search and we lost to Grixis. Grixis is a tough matchup for us because Grixis has a lot of discard and counter magic. You know, a lot of cheap interaction like that that's really good against our expensive spells. So yeah, we lost to Grixis. Get rid of another vow, and maybe we'll just get rid of all the vows. All right, Amara or a Tez? I guess an Amara. I guess a Tez. Yeah. All right. I ran into four decks with mainboard duress today while playing Grixis. Whoa, four decks with main deck duress? Mainboard duress? Wow. The thing is, is like, search isn't as good in this matchup when you have a lot of other early things you want to be doing. The thing is, our deck doesn't really have the other early things to be doing, and search for Kanta is still really, really good for us because we don't have other early things to do. See, like a search for his Kanta would be a nice draw. Our opponent's on six. So presumably their hand's not as good. Presumably they won't kill us right away. But maybe not.
All right, no lands. That's good. I like the the no land strat from the opponent. That's a good strat. Treasure map gets exiled by like Urza's Ruinous Blast exiles treasure map. It's not legendary. Ah, so we would draw something to do before turn four. With keeping that hand, you know, our first three draw steps, we draw something, but... Nope. Alright, well, we need Shalai to survive. No land. We... Yeah, I mean, the play is just playing Shalai. Because even if they do Tribunal, then they can't attack for very much because they have to tap three creatures to Tribunal. No Tribunal, no Tribunal. No Tribunal, please. Don't do it. Just play a Vanguard and pass. Vanguard, pass. No, Vanguard, Venerate, Luxodon. There you go. That's that's the play here. Vanguard, Venerate, Luxodon. That's the play. Could be a Tribunal. Could be a, a Venerate Luxodon. I'm hoping Venerate Luxodon. Elephant. Come on, you need that elephant. Ah, it's a Tribunal. All right, Tristani. Save us. Gideon's Approach, where are you at like 30 turns ago? Sony's still great here. To cast Urza's Ruinous Blast, you need a legendary sorcery or... or for, to cast a legendary sorcery like this, you need a legendary creature or a planeswalker on the battlefield. So we did not have a legendary creature or a planeswalker on the battlefield. So that's what makes it like the legendary sorcery thing. Yep. Yeah, otherwise otherwise Blast would be a whole lot better card and it'd see a whole lot more play. That's why Urza Ruinous Blast doesn't see very much play in like control decks and stuff. There's the Luxodon. There's the elephant. Oh boy. All right, let's get gain four real quick. We about to get that eight for eight for one. We're about to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight for one. So they have two lands and one card in hand. Can two lands and one card in hand. <laughs> oh, that eight for one. Oh, that's so good. They have nothing now. Just actual nothing. I buy a curious choice. We are about to be 4-1. Tristani was another really good addition that I, I did not have Tristani previously with this deck. An excellent choice. Tristani 
Tristani was certainly a, a good addition. He would have conceded on the spot, yeah. That game is over. No, White doesn't have any counter spells. Not in standard. All right, four and one. Final boss time. Final boss time. Come on, Bant Legends. Naya Dinos fell to the final boss. Now, I like the Naya version myself more, but this deck's certainly better here. Like, Grow from the Ashes and Tristani have been, have been good upgrades to this deck, for sure. Um... Am I going first or second? I think I'm going second. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend just using tons and tons of wild cards on this. Not with um, standard about to change. Quick, uh, soon. All right, we're playing against tokens. This is certainly another Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup. Definitely need Urza's Ruinous Blast here. Oh, he gave me a hello? Sorry. Thanks for thanks for the uh, shout out there. Thanks for letting me know. All right, opponent's hand looks really good. Not good for us. We need to find blast. Or just like a Dawnbringer, you know, like Shalai Dawnbringer can certainly win this matchup. Nice stone keep. Only a couple more days. Good, good, uh, self control there. All right, to fairy, huh? Fairy just dies. We have to hope no Conclave Tribunal and then, then we also draw a blast. Seeing Amara is just putting out so many of these tokens. Nope, that's definitely a Tribunal. So I can have Teferi tuck the Tribunal and get Shalai back. That's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, they still just have lethal if I do that. Um, I'm going to play Amara and Drew and Val for two, but that's not going to help me. If you show remorse, I, you need to take a time out. So I need them to attack Teferi. If they just attack out on me, I'm dead. All right, they got me. All right, time for some sideboarding. Let's get Nova's in, other Blast in, other Tristani, Shalai, Dawnbringer, all that kind of stuff. Um, Tatiova's not so bad here.
Taking out one vowel, one sundering, one tesseret. Hmm. I actually do like Amara here because they just have like the cheap creatures I want to be able to block. 63. I guess I'm just taking out Tatiova. Nah, grows grows real good. Going down, take out a Karn. I don't like taking out Karn on the play. It's a good enabler. Maybe we don't need that though. I guess I could see cutting one grow. All right, I'll, I'll cut a grow. It's gonna be a tough one for us to win here. All right, I guess I just don't do anything for five turns and then play Cleansing Nova. Yeah, if we can, if we can cast Vow, it is certainly our best payoff. Well, maybe six if we can't get an untapped land. Gosh, opponent's opener is just great yet again. We get to flip Le Legion's landing on turn two. I mean, on turn three. Not mind drawing an untapped land. Gosh. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, if they have March and Tristani, we're dead. They have that, but I mean, I mean, if they have that, they have Legion's Landing, Into Migration, Flip Landing, have Amara, and then turn four, March, turn five, Tristani. Like if they have, you know, turn one landing, turn two migration, turn three Amara, turn four March, turn five Tristani. Like that's, this is just unbeatable. I mean, it's not really unbeatable. I needed Cleansing Nova <laughs> or just Flourish on turn five also. Cause remember they flipped to the landing so they were mana ahead. Yeah, like that's just incredible. I didn't even get to Cleansing Nova. I've taken lethal before that. Oh, final boss is so hard to beat. Why is the final boss so good? Yeah, that, that's the best possible curve. A turn five kill. All right, final boss, you got us. We got two rares. Slaughter the strong. That's what we need to beat final bosses. We need to be able to slaughter the strong. Okay. Our, the decks, or the uh, game's telling us what we need. Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah, I'm doing good. Hawkeye's doing good. He's, he's chilling back there. As you see him. That says name. Here's perked up. And Shalai. Okay. So, Band Legends. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I really think that we made some good... Good additions to the deck uh, with put, playing Grow from the Ashes and playing the Tristani and getting another Tristani in the sideboard also for the aggro matchups there. Uh, I think that helped out quite a bit. So yeah, if you want something 
really fun. You want to play lots of cool planeswalkers and everything and play some druidic vows that do just ridiculous things. This is certainly the deck for you. So if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And, um, you know, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the rest of the decks.